All right, let's go over gold this morning. All right, we know what to do. The first thing we do is we look at our trend chart. This is our trend chart. All right. We don't want to go against this chart. If we go against this chart, we're going to be counter trend trading the market. And we all know what happens to counter trend traders. Counter trend traders, I've never met one counter trend trader over hundreds and hundreds of traders over the years that have made ticks on a consistent basis. They typically get taken to the woodshed. So what we want to do is we want to stick on the side of this trend filter. Let's see how we trade this. How do we trade this chart? And this works on all futures, all stocks, all Forex. doesn't matter. If you get the trend right, you're halfway there. This Rinko bar we use is very unique. It has a trend filter built into it, not unlike a lot of Rinko bars. In fact, I don't know of any Rinko bar like our Rinko bar. So the easy way to look for it is I got a small moving average. Now, moving averages we know are worthless. I keep telling you that. Moving averages are worthless for support and resistance. That's for amateur traders. But they're great for trend direction. What started gold in a downtrend this morning, we're still cranking down, is this. The first 90% candle close below my small MA started the downtrend. So gold has been in a downtrend right there just before 4 o'clock a.m. this morning, Eastern Standard Time. What time is it? Almost 9 o'clock. So for five hours, if you took any longs on gold, you are wrong. And the market should take all your ticks. Because you are not trading with the professional money. You deserve to lose. Not trying to be harsh, but that's how it is. That's the reality of it. If you counter trend trade the market, the market will take your ticks. Because the market is telling you it is going short. It is marking itself down. The professional money is marking the market down on gold all morning since 4 o'clock. So if you have any longs at all on gold this morning, you are wrong according to what the market is telling you. Hey, George, how you doing, bud? So what we do is we get the side when 90%, the open versus close, the body of the candle right there, the body of the candle since the session, since midnight right there. See the body of the candle, not the wicks, the body of the candle told you we're going short. It's very important you understand that because if you can read, if you can learn how to read my trend chart on any market, any futures, any stocks, any forex, ETFs, OEX options, doesn't matter. If you can learn how to do this, you're going to be on the right side of the market because I have a trend filter built in to my Rinko bar. It's not going to miss the big trends on any market. It's very sensitive to picking up trends. Because I have the trend filter built into it already. Rinko bars don't do that. Ours does. So the key is, when 90% buy the candle close right there, watch the small MA. Does it ever close a whole body candle close above it? No. So we're still in a downtrend all morning. We're still in a downtrend right now. Where can I optimally get in in spots then? Where can I get in spots where I can go short? When we get close to that MA, you'll see the wicks, of the body of the candle come up. They're called the wicks. I'll show you where the wicks came up. These are where my arrows fired. You want to get arrow shorts, Fibonacci shorts at these places this morning. These are all where the arrows fired here this morning. I'll show you the arrows where they fired. But I just want you to get used to this trend chart because you understand how to do that. You're halfway there. A lot of traders do not get that. They don't understand the tone of the market, and that's how they get smoked against the professional traders. Remember, a lot of this monies that come in the market are algorithms, high-frequency traders. Retail traders don't push the market up and down. These high-frequency algorithms and these algorithms, these banks, these hedge funds, these prop firms, it's all electronically traded. So when they push the market, they come in and they're pushing it down. We know because my trend filter will pick it up. So we knew on gold this morning, you're only taking what? Shorts. 
So how do we do it? Well, if our trend filter is down, we look at our, this is a long trend chart. It's a nine Simrinko. We call it a Simrinko. That's what our Rinko bar is called. It's called Simrinko. That's nine. I check down to my smaller Rinko bar. What's my smaller Rinko bar? My five Sim. Check this out. Look how beautiful this is. Absolutely gorgeous. Look what happens here. What's my methodology that I state I want to do? There's only two ways to short when I'm in a downtrend according to my Rinko bar on my, on my uh, five sim and three sim Rinko bar. I want to break through symmetry dots, break through symmetry dots, just like we did yesterday, great trades yesterday, just like we did Wednesday, great trades Wednesday, just like we did Tuesday. Look at our videos. Go to daytradingthefutures.com. Look at our trades on Thursday, on Wednesday, on Tuesday, on Monday, same exact setup. It broke, retested. There's a green bar. That's a counter trend traders. We love counter trend traders because they don't know what they're doing. They're trying to buy low, sell high in a downtrend. Not good. Novice traders. There's a green bar. We know green bars in a downtrend on our trend filter are novice traders getting in the market. We love it. They're pushing the market back up for us to get short. Right there is where my arrow fired off, right at the exact high. Arrow fired here. Then we broke symmetry again. Arrow fired here. Another great trade. Then we broke symmetry again. Close below the whole body candle. Close. Arrow fired here. Another great trade. Then we came back up and tested my red. We just went over this with a Dennis asked me this morning, I believe it's Dennis, can we short the next red resistance? Yes, you can. If it comes within two ticks or straddles it, it can break it. Just can't close a whole body above it. There's another great short here. Look how this symmetry dots work. There's two ways to trade it. You break through with the trend being down and you retest, break retest, or break retest, or here's another trade, I'm sorry, arrow fired here too. Close below symmetry. Or you let it retest the red in a downtrend. Now let's see where the arrow's fired. All right, so that's our second chart. It sets the market up. Check these out. How many trades in a row have, have we had that worked? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for twelve. Tell me we don't know what we're doing. Tell me we don't know what we're doing on retracing, on retracements. Beautiful. You use a trend chart to set it up, 12 for 12, 12 errors in a row that have worked. You can't not get better than that. All based upon, look, trend filter down, breaking symmetry of the market, confirming the downtrend, showing us when to look for arrows. And then we get in the arrow short here. There's your arrow shorts.